Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing another question and answers video. As always, I always ask for the questions on my Facebook fan page, so if you'd like to be included in the next question and answers video, go ahead and like my Facebook fan page, which I'll have linked below, as well as my Twitter and my Instagram, and if you want to follow me on there too. But yeah, if you want to be in this question and answers video next time, then go ahead and like the Facebook fan page. The next time I ask your questions, you can go ahead and send yours in, and maybe it'll end up in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. The first question comes from Caitlin. She says, do you think wearing your boyfriend's sweatshirt is a yay or a nay? I think definitely a yay. I mean, it's a plus if it smells like them, like cologne, not like stinky boy smell. But um, yeah, I love sleeping in like my boyfriend's clothes. I think they smell good and if you miss them, it's like a good you know thing to have or whatever. Um, and yeah, especially if it's like cold outside, you're at a bonfire, your boyfriend gives you a sweatshirt, definitely go for it. <laughs> Um, I think mean, that was kind of like a funny question, but um, Rainy says, where do you get the inspiration for your videos? And I take inspiration from just about everything. Um, some things I come up with in my own mind, some things I try to put myself in your shoes as the viewer and think, you know, what would, what would I like to hear about today or what would I think would be helpful or interesting. Um, sometimes my sister will request videos and she'll be like, can you do a video on this and I'll do it. Um, also, I like to read a lot of fashion magazines. I love reading Teen Vogue, Seventeen, Glamour, Elle, InStyle. I just read a ton of different fashion magazines, and so a lot of the times I'll just get inspired by what's in the magazine. And then I also get inspired by like my friends or people that I see out and about. You know, if I see a girl with a beautiful hairstyle, sometimes that'll like spark the inspiration for a video that I want to do. Or um, the same thing with makeup. You know, I really pay attention to people when I meet them. I look at their hair and their nails and their makeup and their outfit. And a lot of the times I pull inspiration from actual people and then I kind of form like an idea for the basis of the video. So I hope that like makes sense. Um, Tessa says, have you ever been to Australia? No, I have not. Um, my dad has gone to Australia before on business and my boyfriend has gone to Australia before um, for just like a family vacation, but I have never been to Australia and I know I have a lot of viewers that actually live in Australia, so I definitely would be um, interested in going at some point, but it's just super long flight from here in Austin, Texas. Jaden says, do you ever want to get a tattoo? And I feel like I've mentioned this before. Um, but right now is kind of the time when all my friends are getting tattoos, like people, I guess, you know, are turning 18 and stuff, so a lot of people are, like, getting their first tattoo, I guess that's where, um, it's legal to get a tattoo, like, without your parents' consent and stuff. I know before that you just have to have, like, your parents come with you and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I've been, like, more open to the idea of it. When I was little, I was like, I'm never getting a tattoo. But, um, now that I'm older, like, the idea really interests me. I just would definitely, like take a lot of time on what I was going to get. I'm definitely not a very impulsive person besides when it comes to shopping, but I'm also someone that doesn't have a very high pain tolerance. So those two things together would kind of be the things holding me back from getting a tattoo. One, I would, I'm not sure what I would get. And two, um, I don't know. I'm just not good with pain, I guess. But I guess if you really want something that kind of outweighs the pain, at least that's what I've heard from people. Um, Brianna says, do you plan to move to LA or NYC? And not at the moment, but I definitely could see myself living there eventually. Um, every time I travel though, I really like just coming back to Austin just because it's so much smaller than LA and New York and just so much less busy and crazy. Um, but I definitely could see myself living in LA or New York. Um, I really like, I feel like I like New York better, but I don't like the weather. Um, I'm definitely more of a warm weather person, so therefore LA would be a better choice. Um, but I feel like I know my way around New York better, which is kind of like, sounds weird. Like, I don't know that, I don't know my way around that well, but I just feel like I've been to New York more than I have been to LA, so I know a little bit better. Um, but definitely the weather in LA is much better so Nicole says what advice would you give to younger girls that watch you about feeling confident I think feeling confident is something that comes with time and um, exper like experimenting with your look and your fashion and stuff I definitely think that um, you know if you really really want to get your hair cut a certain way or you really want to wear this certain makeup look and if it makes you feel good definitely do it I definitely think there's a lot to be said for for people that don't um, 
you know, only follow trends or only do what's cool but kind of do their own style and do their own thing, I think those girls end up looking like the best and they end up looking just super confident and like comfortable and other girls wish like, oh my gosh, I wish I could pull that off or I wish I could do that. But I really think that if you, um, you really want to do something, then go ahead and do it. Like do that crazy hairstyle or wear something that you wouldn't normally wear. Um, just as long as you feel good and you feel happy, that will kind of show to everyone else and that will in turn make you look more confident. And when you look and seem confident, I think you feel a little bit more confident. It's kind of just like when you fake a smile, you kind of feel better. I think it's the same thing. So like if you keep faking that you're really comfortable and stuff, I think eventually you just will and obviously everyone's going to think you are. So I definitely think though there are always times when people feel uncomfortable and you're definitely not the only one. Haley says, what's your favorite fall trends? And I have a lot. I really love printed pants and colored pants, especially in like purples and red, kind of the oxblood color. I love the color oxblood for the fall and that's probably like my favorite trend. I recently bought a pair of shoes that are kind of like a wine-ish purpley color and they're really pretty. And I actually have a pair of pants that I got that I'm going to be doing an outfit of the day with soon that are also that color. So that's definitely my favorite trend for fall this year. Grace says, are you a dreamer? And yes, I am. I think it's great to have goals and dreams and to, you know, just think outside of the box every once in a while and, um, I don't know, expect the unexpected. JL says, do you consider yourself rich? And I assume she means, like, money-wise, but, you know, honestly, like, money doesn't buy you happiness, and there are things maybe that you could buy with money that would make you happy, but... Ultimately in life, being rich, I think, is, you know, having family and friends and um, caring about people and having people care about you. And I think the best way to do that is to be a nice, honest person. And I think then when you accomplish that and you get to the point of having, you know, great friends and um, just great relationships with other people, that's what truly makes you rich. And that really isn't anything that you could ever buy. No matter how much money you have or how little money you have, having great relationships with people, that should in return make you feel the best out of anything. And you know, having a true good friend or someone that truly loves and cares about you or someone that you truly care about, that is just irreplaceable and like nothing that money could buy. So I think being rich in life is definitely way more fulfilling and way more important than just being rich by having a lot of money. Amina says, who's your favorite friend on YouTube? And I don't have like one specific favorite, but one that I've actually hung out with and like had a lot of time to kind of get to know and stuff was Megan Rosette. We had so much fun together. She's hilarious. Um, and like people said they didn't really see if we would get along just because I think I'm really like quiet and reserved and she has like a huge, amazing personality. But she really just like brings out a hilarious, like funny, happy side in me, which I think that's what's supposed to happen. You know, when you're with friends, they're supposed to bring out a great side of you. So her and I just got along completely well, and I really do think of her as a great friend. Um, last summer, we actually used to talk a lot before we had actually met. And so when I actually got to meet her in New York, it was really awesome, and it was just fun to get to have so much time to like spend with her and really like become good friends. Sophie says, who are your celebrity crushes? And I have two, you know, besides my boyfriend. It would definitely be Drew or Drew Irwin, who um, I've mentioned a few different times in my videos. He's just super talented. Um, he's super sweet and down to earth, but he can sing and play guitar and play the piano, which is just crazy. And I feel like it's funny that, you know, having a musical talent instantly makes a guy like so just amazingly attractive. And um, he actually is cute as well, too. If you've seen his videos, you'd know that. But um, yeah, he's just a super nice guy, and he's also very, very talented. And then the second one would be Douglas Booth, who was in the movie LOL with Miley Cyrus, which was a really underrated movie. It wasn't out for very long. It wasn't really even in theater, a theater close to me. But I watched it on, um, like, online. I, like, downloaded it. And he is just very, very cute. He's beautiful, a beautiful guy. Um, he has great bone structure, really nice hair, beautiful eyes, and then his like voice is really attractive too. So if you definitely haven't seen LOL with Miley Cyrus and Douglas Booth, check it out. You might like it. Um, I definitely liked it. So those are all the questions I'm going to answer today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.